Dr. Britt Baker. But man, hey man, Darby Allen, Samoa Joe, man. They cut a promo, of course. Mm-hmm. Uh, then we had John Moxley, you know, he he he, he spent his one two, letting it be known to the JSA, letting it be known to Hangman Page, who he respects because he got knocked down and dusted himself up and got back up on saddle and came back at me and and he he didn't came talking, but he didn't come to talk, talk like everybody else wants to talk. He came talking with his fist and he appreciated that. He could respect that. And he's looking forward to the next altercation that they have. But uh, other than that, man, Darby Allen, Samoa Joe, TNT Championship. Bro, I like the match. I, I, you know, I thought it was, I don't know, man. I saw a fire in Joe's eyes I haven't seen in a while. Uh, what did you think, man? And Darby Allen, boy, he, he definitely took some spots in this one. I mean, let, let's talk about it. Darby Allen definitely took a lot of spots. The, mo- the most, uh, first of all, started damn there we go Sheeta, yay okay uh um dude when he went out when he did that that cannonball suicide dives to the outside and he missed missing this one thing dude he completely missed that mat and he went straight into the guard wheeling on the concrete that was one then when Samoa Joe grabbed him by his legs and just swinging him head first and shoulder first to the guardrail bro me and you Without saying too much, we move plenty of bike racks in our time. That shit ain't heavy. I mean, that shit ain't light. It's very heavy. So for him to get thrown in there like that, golly. And then let's not even talk about the muscle buster on the bottom of the skateboard, bro. Like, damn, dude, that that right there said enough. But like you said, Samoa Joe, bro, I want to sit here again as I do. The franchise has no problem with giving people their flowers. The franchise, I'm speaking the third person because I'm a dollar store Dwayne right now like my boy Pretty Ricky Starks. The franchise has no problem with saying what well, he fucked up and he might have been wrong. And the franchise is wrong. I was going to write Samoa Joe off because you know what? When he first came back to uh, A, when he first came into AEW, he looked a little rusty. He looked a little lazy. And it could be forever what it was. But God damn, you caught it, man. You hit it right on the head. This is a fire. We haven't seen the Samoa Joe in quite some time. And I'm going to go back past NXT. I'm talking about TNA Samoa Joe, Impact Samoa Joe. This is the Samoan submission machine, not the guy formerly known as. He went in there. He had a hell of a match with Darby Allen. Did I expect Darby to win? Absolutely not. But I accept Darby for what he is and who he is and what he do in the ring. I accept this match for what it was. It was a match to showcase Darby, put him in a big time match with a big time guy like Samoa Joe. And this is also a chance for Samoa Joe to go in there and whoop some ass and look like the badass that we know he is. So, bro. Dude, I enjoyed the match, and yes, I am back with my boy Samoa Joe. I'm happy, man. 